Alex presented to us because he acutely became paralyzed in his back legs. And when he presented, he really had no motor function, wasn't able to walk at all on his own. And so we, we did a CT exam on him, and what we found was a compressive lesion right at T9, T10, which is a really kind of an unusual spot to see a disc herniation anyway. But uh, we ended up taking him to, to surgery, and sure enough, there was a, a very compressive lesion there that we, we decompressed with a hemilaminectomy procedure. Then once he came out of surgery, we needed to address the swelling and the edema in the cord. So we did multiple hyperbaric oxygen treatments and very shortly thereafter sent him into rehabilitation. When Alex first came to the rehabilitation service, we started class four laser treatments to help reduce inflammation and help him with his pain. But that wasn't the only thing that we really needed to work on. Alex had severe functional limitations, one being he wasn't even able to change from right to his left side. So we needed to teach him how to do that. He also couldn't transition from sit to stand. So we started working on that through positive reinforcement training and allowing him to build strength and skill within those actions. Alex also needed practice walking. He was just unable to support his weight. So the underwater treadmill allowed us to unload approximately 35% of his body weight and it allowed him to practice walking without the fear of falling. Most importantly, Alex is now out of pain and now able to walk around and function on his own.